So, today I am very, very excited to show you something really, really, really cool. Because what you probably see when you fly around is that your footage is maybe something like this. <laughs> But uh, I picked up on a technique that I saw from a guy that is called Matt V Drone Videos. That shows you how you can basically make cinematic videos regardless what you do with your drone. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go under the three dots here in the upper corner here. We go under control and then we're going to change the yaw motion of the unit. And we go under advanced gimbal settings here. And then we are taking for normal mode here, it's very, very important that you don't do this for all the modes because you want the um, maneuverability of the drone. And then you push the yaw speed down to the absolute minimum. And then the yaw smoothness, it doesn't matter because you are running so slow with the yaw that uh, this one is slow. But for the sake of it, we just push that to 100. Okay, just to show you the difference, let's just put this up here. So let's see here. Let's see if I have this. You see, you get these really, 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 really aggressive emotions but if you take the yaw speed and turn it down the drone will slowly turn around so what we can do when we have this capability in hand is that we can basically fly it in a way that where this the footage is really really smooth but the first thing we just need to make sure is that our camera settings is like we want them to be it seems our filter is a little bit too dark for this. So if you just check the camera settings down here, we will have 1 over 60, which is a shutter speed that is double of the frame rate of 30 frames per second. We have an underexposed image of minus 1.3. That's a little bit to the low side. So what we can do here now is we can bump the ISO. I would basically not recommend that. But oh, let's keep it at 100. What I can do now is now I need to rely on uh, turning the drone to either left or right. And uh, when I've made that decision, I will simply keep the stick that way. And then I will fly around with the drone. Then I will use the pitch and roll to sort of determine what it is that I want to do with the drone. And as you can see here, just a short demonstration here. See how smooth that looks. So now I can make it move towards uh, me where I'm parked in the car. I can emphasize the turning by putting the stick to one o'clock. I can make it even turn more by using a three o'clock here, or that's even a sideward motion. I can make it back away. And if I don't want it to go as much over to that location, I can just put it at seven o'clock, I think it is. But look how smooth it is. That's the only thing that I'm doing to the drone right now. So, so I put it up here in, uh, what is that, 11 o'clock-ish. And you can see that it just floats around. It's impossible for me to, I should be a little bit careful not going too much that direction. So, and I can back it away here. Say, okay, I don't want to go over <laughs> this building buildings here so and I can move it again forward here and look how smooth it is it's really 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 and it's so easy that everyone can do this so what you need to be uh, careful about of course is uh, that if you have buildings like the one you see here in the middle if you're flying towards that one let's just use another the other direction here. If you're moving towards a building like that, you need to make sure that you are capable of clearing it. And again, these lines that you see here on the screen recorder, um, in the top, that is the overexposure warnings, the zebra stripes. Many of you are asking about that. Look at this. That makes your video so much more interesting. You see, I can go around it just by fiddling around with my right stick. And because I have cleared the building, there is absolutely no risk at doing this. Let's see if I can turn around.
this technique, I'm really, I'm so happy that I discovered this because this will make everything so much easier. It is of course not as predictable as uh, if you are, if you are flying uh, like uh, with normal settings. But but look at this, look how much I'm actually flipping around with the the pitch and roll, and it's still buttery smooth. It might be a little bit too much underexposed. So see if I want to again, if I want to fly around this building. do something like this and it just makes the view super super interesting it's floating it's very very advanced look at this how beautiful is that this is by the way a uh, Green harbor and again i'm pointing out this one is just staying stable And I'm just compensating with the pitch and roll here on the other side. How cool is that? <laughs> One thing that is important to remember when you fly around and experiment with that, even though you are in a safe height, you can run into problems uh, flying behind buildings or such where you would lose connection. And then it's uh, very, very important that uh, at least you don't have to battle slow motions of uh, the drone. So it's important that you at least have one flight mode reserved that it, it makes it fly with normal parameters that will allow you to take a, like reasonable control of the drone. For in my case, I have left sport mode unchanged so I can flick it into sport mode and then navigate the drone back. I'm very, very happy for this technique. And uh, I was very surprised to try it out, how good results that you can actually obtain and how easy it is to apply. A big thank you to Matt V drone videos for sharing these uh, tips with the drone community. Make sure to pop over and check out his channel because he's doing some really, really great stuff uh, himself. And I will of course make sure to leave a link in the description below. Do you have any other flying tips that you want to share with me and the rest of the Tech Drone Media community? Then let me know in the comments below. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you around.